Welcome to episode three of the LibGDX graph series. Um, as you can see, the, I've done quite a lot of work between the episodes. Uh, the UI has changed considerably. So for example, now all the required inputs into a node in the pipeline have the filled circle. Uh, in addition to that, you can see here a sort of overview of your graph. So for example, if something goes out of screen, you can, you can, you can navigate to it easier. Another change that I added is that there's a validation now. So for example, if I disconnect this, this one, this node says I need an input. This node says we are not part of the pipeline. Um, okay, so now in this episode, I'd like to show you how how you can add easily post-processing the three three most important most basic post-processors, which is the Bloom, Calcium Blur, and Gamma Correction. So let's start with uh, let's say Gamma Correction. I'll create a node here, and I connect it to the pipeline before the UI renderer because we don't want to correct Gamma Correct the UI itself. We want only only do a Gamma Correction on this scene, which is rendered here. And by the way, the scene is this uh, sphere and I already have set up UI to be able to modify parameters for it. Okay, so we have here and uh, now we will create a, let's create a property. It's gonna be a float and the name is gonna be gamma correction, I believe. That's what I set it in the UI. Yes, gamma correction, okay. So it's a comma correction. Let's give it the fault of one and create a property here, comma correction, and collect it, connect it to the comma input on the of the post processor. Save it. And once again I'll press R to reload here. And now I can do gamma correction on the model. Excellent. All the other ones don't do anything yet because we have not connected them here. So let's now add the second one, which is the Gaussian Blur. We do it, let's say, also before the gamma correction. And the name for the property was Blur Radius. Blur radius. Okay, so we are the property here. Save the pipeline and reload here. And now we have working blur. We have working blur with work, working gamma correction. I'm not sure if you should be doing gamma correction after or before the blur. Maybe it works, makes more sense to make it after so we don't have this kind of artifacts here on the edges uh, when we enhance the blur. Okay, so these are two basic post-processors and now the more complicated one, which is the Bloom. It has, as you can see, three properties to it. So let's connect this. and add these properties here. So it's gonna be bloom radius. I believe that's what I called it. Yes, bloom radius. Second one is min brightness. And the third one is bloom strength. Okay, so let's add them here. Bloom radius, mean brightness, property mean brightness, and bloom strength. I'll have to make some more space here. Okay, uh, let's save it. Once again, I'll reload and 
now we have bloom you can define how strong it should be and the radius of the bloom we don't really see it here well only an enhance and also the minimal brightness that is required for it to be able to do the bloom effect so the bright the minimum brightness the higher it is the smaller part of this sphere is because of the lighting is being affected by the this filter and yeah these So these are the three uh, basic uh, post-processing filters you can apply. And as you can see, just you can copy into your project this specific um, configuration of the pipeline, or you can just use the one that's going to be provided for you in the application here. Uh, and yeah, so one more thing is I added the center button here. And the OK, which is uh, the status of the of the validation. So this is acceptable because, but it says basically that this node is not being used. That's when it's, it's not. There's no error here. So for example, if I do proper property that is missing, it will say that the node, the pipeline is invalid, and it's OK with everything. It's fine. And this button allows me to center the. Oh, that doesn't update correctly. Okay, uh, center the graph on the screen here, and I can navigate by clicking here. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Please tune in for next episodes. Like and subscribe if you're interested in more updates. I already have a couple of the things that I want to present. Just don't have much time at the moment, so to make the videos. But once I do, um, you might see some other cool effects done with without much of code itself. Uh, the code itself is just you just load the pipeline and set the pro properties the way you want them to be in your application or expose them by UI to the user in settings like the gamma correction for example you just say set property name of the property that you define in the graph and the value and yeah so thanks for watching bye